So uh, what's been your favourite part of, um, you know, putting your book together so far? I've just been thrilled to go through all the techniques and look at all the work because I've done about 20 new ones for the book and then I'm looking at my old ones and you're just learning so much all the time and it's just been fantastic. It's been like a little step back in history and then all new things and of course because it's going in the book, mm. I'm trying extra hard so I've been trying new techniques mm. and the whole thing's just been brilliant. And what would you say is your favourite technique to teach? I particularly like uh, what I call METS, which is methylated spirits dropped onto wet acrylic paint because without exception, everybody's, <gasps> and I like to get a gasp from the audience and everybody loves that because, to be honest, I like methods that give you something absolutely beautiful and stunning with very little effort and don't yeah. we all. And that methylated spirits dropped on is so beautiful. Would you say that's something that you use frequently or? Yes, I do. I try not to use it in everything, otherwise everything starts to look the same. But mm. for certain things, little dashes of light in water, lichen on rocks, all that sort of thing, it's absolutely perfect. Mm. And is that, so does that fit well with your, your favourite kind of subjects? What, what truly inspires it, you? Yes, it does. I always use techniques that look, I don't use techniques just for techniques sake let's put it that way mm. i always use them because they describe almost perfectly certain things in nature and then i give them a helping hand with i suppose what i call traditional painting techniques mm -hmm. so that i don't just leave them raw i come in with other techniques and glazes over the top to merge them in but they usually quite perfectly describe what i'm going for mm -hmm. anyway. yeah yeah that's really interesting and so when you teach, so you're, you said obviously your favourite technique to teach is the methylated spirits. Mm. Um, but what do your students tend to like the most from you? Nice. <laughs> they love that, but they like the vigorous splashing. Yeah. And always, always, it's when everybody's laughing and booping and absolutely loving it, it's that. Mm. And it's at that point that you are very often haven't let rip like that. They used to very careful, consider painting, and to get someone to absolutely seduce. So one, they like seeing it. Two, they're excited about doing it themselves. Mm. And then when they finally crack that whip with the paint flying up the paintbrush, they absolutely love it. And then to top it, the paintings come alive, and they, it's almost like they can't believe they've done it themselves. Mm. They can't believe how much life and vigor and how contemporary it looks. And I've got people that have been painting for years and still haven't let rip. And I've got complete newbies who haven't done any. And they just, they're just always amazed at what they create. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. And so, obviously, you said that you enjoy teaching a lot. Um, what would you say is your favourite part of teaching? So what do, you, what do you really get out of it? I love the excitement that people get and when you can see the excitement in their faces. But I think one of the really, really special things, and I think probably most teachers would say this, is when someone comes and you know that they're nervous and they say, bear with me because I haven't done any painting before and I don't know what I'm doing. And by the end of the lesson, they're really creating interesting, beautiful things and they're absolutely glowing and thrilled. That, for me, is the icing on the cake. Mm, that's really sweet. So, obviously... We speak a lot to, to a lot of artists um, and obviously about their inspirations and about, you know, what inspired them to, you know, start doing the work that they do. Um, what would you say creativity has given to your life? I've never not painted, uh, but I am aware that it's become so much part of me. Without it, I would feel bereft. Um, it's... Everything, it absorbs me, it keeps my mind occupied, it, it's kind of everything to me now and it never hasn't been. Mm. So I suppose I understand when people want to become creative and get creative and take a bit of time to be, how much it will mean to them. Mm. And what advice would you give to people that were looking to, you know, start painting? I'd say don't be scared. Get a bit of space, put a bit of space aside. If you haven't got lots of space, don't worry. 
and do creative things in a small uh, foot square. And just don't worry about what people think. Think If you want to do it, just try it, just try it and get going. And bit by bit by bit, you'll get better and better and better and better. So just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs>